God starts a fire that we have to keep burning in the monotonous, small, insignificant, seemingly unnoticeable things of our life. So to, tonight I want to tell you that those little things that you're doing in your relationship with God are the things that are more significant than the things that everybody sees you do on the outside. Amen. See, in America, we have been trained to think that me standing behind the pulpit, me preaching to you right in this moment, is the most important facet of my life. It's important, but it's not the most important thing. Because this season, this thing that I'm doing right now, the thing that Pastor does, the thing that Dave does, the things that others do, whatever God has called you to do, it's going to come out of what you do when nobody is around you. It's going to come through what you do when nobody sees you and nobody hears you and nobody's watching you. Have you noticed that the greatest miracles that have come out of your life started with you in the floor crying tears saying, God, I'm all alone and nobody cares. God, I'm trying to push to read your word. God, I'm trying to push to do the right thing in this moment. But I feel like nobody sees me, God. Those seasons are what birth the thing that everybody sees and goes, oh man, praise the Lord, you're awesome, you're wonderful, you did a great job, hallelujah, God is using you. Why? Because you got alone with him when nobody was around. Amen. And I want to talk to the, the part of you that feels like you're just keeping the fire burning on the night shift and nobody cares. I'm here to tell you, God really does care about those that work the night shift in the temple. Because if they don't keep the fire burning, there's not going to be any fire in the morning when the superhero Christians come in to take the scene. 